So here we are, the final video of the semester. And the purpose of this video is to show you how to export your movie, your Project 4 movie, at a smaller size so it can be placed into your PDF um, for Project 5 and does not take too much memory. So as I've said in class, or will say in class, depending when you watch this, your video should be less than a hundred megabytes if it is you know around three minutes long or less you definitely need to get the size down to less than a hundred megabytes if it's longer than that say five to six minutes then your goal should be to get it down to around 150 megabytes. Uh, this is so that your PDF doesn't end up being stupid large. Yeah. And so the size I've given you is 500 pixels wide. So let me show you how to do that. What you see on screen here is uh, my bud movie, Shrimp Cocktail. And so I'm just gonna do the usual going to select my sequence, go Command M to bring up my export media window. And then this is what I'm gonna to recommend to you. Just start off using the same settings that you use when you originally exported your movie. And so I recommend to use match source, high bit rate. You notice how big this looks all of a sudden, but that's okay, panic not. <coughs> we will need to go in and change a couple of these settings. And so I'm gonna go down here to the video area and change the width and the height here. Unfortunately, I can't get to them right now because they are matching the source. So I'm gonna uncheck that so that I have the ability to change it. Notice that these two numbers are linked together. Make sure the link symbol is active so that when you change one dimension, the other will change automatically to stay in proportion. I want you to make the width 500 pixels. Do that, I'm gonna hit the tab key and you will notice that our film is miraculously smaller now and that the height has been changed to 280, so it has stayed in that letterbox proportion. Now if you remember what controls the quality and the size of your movie, among other things, is the bitrate. And so with this high, um, high quality bitrate setting we have now, uh, we need to notch that down a bit. So you'll notice that I scrolled down in the video window till I found the bitrate settings area. And then at the bottom of the window, I'll see that my estimated file size is now 221 megabytes. What? So that is more than twice as big than I want that to be. So I'm gonna change this 10 down to a four and hit the tab key and you will notice that gets my memory down to 92. Uh, the maximum uh, I'm going to just change that to be eight and these are the settings I would recommend you start with. If your movie is still over 100 megabytes then try going down to three and six. If at three and six it isn't under 100 megabytes you can try going a bit lower, but the quality might start getting really wonky. But give it a try, export it, see what it looks like. But do your best to get it around this memory, otherwise um, we're going to have a bunch of gigantic PDFs uh, streaming onto my hard drive. And we certainly don't want that to happen, now do we? No way. Finally, we just click the export button and uh, we are off. So that concludes this final video of the semester. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I have. Totally for sure.